Hi there, it's Kaya from Kajka Crafts and today I will show you how you can use re-inkers for watercoloring. First I will start by taping down my paper so it will prevent the warping and I will use this Distress Reinker in Stormy Sky Color and you can see that I will just use this small drop of color and this will actually be more than enough, I could use a lot less. This is really uh, saturated and bold color and because we are using a re-inker you will be able to see that the color is more saturated than it would be if you would use just a normal distressing cube for example and put it on your acrylic block and then use it as a watercolor. That's because um, this is pure color and of course it's more saturated. I first put the water on my paper so it was wet so I will do this again and next I will just use some color from the reinker. now you can see this and I will just put it on top so I will let the water spread the color naturally so it will look a bit more smooth and I will just build the color on top until I am happy with the result. You can see that you get different shades of blue and I think that this is enough that's why I just use this one color. For some more interest I will use my paintbrush and this small acrylic block and I will just make some splotches. I will use this uh, color first, so the Stormy Sky Reinker. Next, here I use just water. And for the third layer, I will use this white paint. And this will give it that nice smooth effect that I love so much. I will use this rectangle to die cut my piece so it will have this finished look because of the stitching detail. I will add this cute turtle from the Swimming By set and I will stamp it again on my Devant watercolor paper and I will use the VersaFine Onyx Black because I will use my Zix to color this cute turtle in. I will use really simple coloring and then I will just use the coordinating die to die cut it. I wanted my sentiment to be white so I will use Versamark ink and then I will just use the white embossing powder. I have it in this jar and it's a bit too small but I was lucky so I didn't <laughs> drop any powder out. And yeah, just make sure you have your heat tool good and hot so the embossing powder melts instantly and you don't warp the paper. I will put this on my card base with a lot of tape because I just want to make sure that everything stays as it's meant to be. And the last thing is just I will pop up this cute turtle. That's it for today. Hope that you will try to use your re-inkers in the way that you haven't used before and that you will show me your results. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!